So another issue that I would like to address is noun clusters. I have seen this many, many times. Um, and on the one hand, with English being a flexible language, yes, we can use noun clusters, but up to a certain extent only. So what is a noun cluster? A noun cluster is when a group of nouns is used together. For example, I have my phone. This is a smartphone. Those two words, smart and phone, come together and make smartphone. Um, we know that one of the words in a noun cluster is the quote unquote true noun. So the main noun that we're talking about with my smartphone, the true noun would obviously be phone, right? The other nouns act like adjectives. Um, so for example, polymerase chain reaction. Reaction is the true noun while polymerase and chain tell us what kind of reaction we're reading about, right? However, if the noun cluster is too long, and this is where as an editor, I tend to see a lot of problems, um, the reader will have a hard time understanding the text. For example, we used a sensitive protein function monitoring system. Okay, so system is the real noun, but what does the system do? Um, does this noun cluster, is it telling us that the system itself is sensitive or does the system monitor protein function? Or could the system monitor sensitive proteins? From this, uh, without more context, we can't understand which is the correct meaning. Um, so what do you do if you have a noun cluster that is too long? You break it up into chunks. Now, this might um, slightly contradict what I was saying about writing in a concise manner, but it does relate to writing in a clear manner. Sometimes for the sake of clarity, we do need to write things in a longer way. So for example, if you have gene subset similarity scoring tool, that's a pretty long noun cluster, some possible solutions could be a scoring tool to test the similarity of gene subsets or the scoring tool of gene subset similarity if we're talking about um, an actual standardized measurement.